Let's learn how to save our own template. So here in Excel 2013, when you open your Excel program, you'll see the start screen. If you click on personal over here, you'll see your own templates. I created this template called Big Cells, and it's a fast way of starting with nice big fat cells. Now, what if you were to color this, just a random workbook, and change your font to comic and make everything a bit bigger. So I'm going to call this my template. I'm going to go to file, save as, click on the browse button. And the key is that you can actually, instead of selling, saving it as an Excel workbook, you can save it as an Excel template. And when you sell it, when you save it as an Excel template, it's going to be in a special folder, custom office templates, uh, such that when you open Excel, you can actually find your templates. So I'm going to call this blah, very imaginative name there. And I'm going to save it. Now the key is that if you save this in a folder other than this folder, it, you're not going to see your templates at, when you open Excel. So let's save this into that special default folder. And now when I close it, file, I'll go to close. So I'm going to go file, new. And when you go to file new, you'll see that there's this personal button again. You can see there's the new blah template. I feel very professional now, now that I can access my own templates within the start menu. So I click on blah, ta-da, there's your nice template. Now, of course, you don't have to use Excel templates. It just so happens that when you go File, New, it's nice to be able to click on this personal button and quickly find your templates as opposed to searching through some file folder where you have to remember where you save your files. One last note is when you go to File, New, you will see your templates. However, if you press Control N, which is a shortcut key for new workbook, I'm going to press Control N. It's going to open up a blank default workbook without even going to the start screen. So the Control N keyboard shortcut automatically bypasses the start screen.